In this question, we need to check uh, what type of measure scale is being used. And remember, measure scales, we have uh, nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio. Uh, remember that ordinal and nominal, these belong to qualitative data. And uh, interval and ratio, so this ratio and interval, uh, belong to quantitative data. We will look at these one by one, and I will show you on the next page um, uh, a table that would remind you of these things. So uh, remember that qualitative can be nominal or ordinal, and quantitative can be interval or ratio. And you can always refer to this table when you are solving questions of this sort. So let's look at the first one. The first one is high school soccer players classified by their athletic ability, uh, superior, average, above average. So notice that uh, from the beginning, uh, this is a quality, not a quantity. So we know that it's qualitative. Now we need to know if it's uh, either nominal or ordinal. So first you say, I know that this is qualitative, qualitative, qualitative. And now, is it nominal or ordinal? Uh, because uh, you know you have superior, average, above average, you can kind of order them uh, by the best one is the superior, then the above average, then the average, because there is some natural order that can happen. Uh, because there is an order that you can make, uh, this you would say it's uh, qualitative, ordinal. So the an answer to this is that this, th this is uh, ordinal. Uh, the next one is uh, baking temperatures for various main dishes. And they give you the baking temperatures. Uh, since these are numbers, not qualities, you know immediately that this will be quantitative. So first, let's say that we know that it's uh, quantitative. And now we need to know whether it's uh, interval or ratio. Now, uh, the difference between interval and ratio is whether you have uh, no natural zero or a natural zero. For temperature, because you know you have different kinds of temperature, you have Celsius, you have Fahrenheit, you have uh, the Kelvin. Uh, because of this, we don't agree on a natural zero. And that's why, because no natural zero occurs here, this would be quantitative interval measure for this. So the answer to this is interval. And notice that also they give it to you here in the table, that temperatures and dates, for example, if you have the date of something, uh, then that would also be quantitative interval. So let's go to the next one. The next one is uh, the colors of crayons in a 24 crayon box. Well, colors like red, black, uh, anything, you know, uh, uh, blue, green, these are immediately qualitative. They are, they are qualities. Uh, so this, we know that it's qualitative. Now you ask yourself, is there an order to the colors? Uh, no, we don't have any order. You can, you can pick the greens first, then the blue, you know, uh, it doesn't matter which color comes first. So because of this, uh, because no ordering is uh, important here, you can say that this is qualitative uh, nominal. The difference between qualitative ordinal and nominal is that in ordinal, and even the word ordinal, reminds you that there is a natural order that you can use. Like uh, here, it gives you an example, uh, satisfaction scale for students, one to five. Qualitative data that can be ordered, and you will call it ordinal. But colors, colors are qualitative but nominal. Uh, also, for example, names of banks, these are qualitative uh, data, and it doesn't matter which bank you put first, HSBC or NBD or ADCB, uh, whichever one you put first, no one would care about it. Uh, they care about the data about these banks. So qualitative nominal is like this, or male or female. 
So this question is qualitative nominal. Let's go to the next one. The next one is uh, incomes, so kind of salaries, measured in dollars. Uh, you know that uh, salaries or incomes are quantitative because they are numbers that you can calculate. So first you know that it's quantitative and quantitative has two uh, measures, either interval or, or ratio. And how do you differentiate? You think, do I have a natural zero? Is there a natural zero or no natural zero? Uh, well, for incomes, uh, a person might not be working and so their income will be zero. And we all agree that zero means that uh, they didn't make any income. It's not uh, something that we disagree on. So this would be quantitative uh, ratio because this has a natural zero. Zero means something. And also, if you want to know that length, for example, we have length zero, height zero, weight zero, age zero. All of these examples are examples of quantitative ratio uh, data. And let's go to the last one. The last one is... Um, a satisfaction survey of a social website by numbers. So one means very satisfied. In this case, they're using one to, uh, as the best, and the two is somewhat satisfied, and three is not satisfied. I would usually use the opposite to this. One means not satisfied, and three means very satisfied. But it's okay. You just read the question. Now, you know that these numbers here, the one, two, and three, are not really numbers. They are describing qualities, so like satisfied or not, or somewhat satisfied. And because of this, this is a quality. So you would say this is qualitative. And once you know it's qualitative, you ask yourself, is it nominal or ordinal? Now, can you order it? Well, yes, we have ordered it already. We said one means uh, set, uh, very satisfied, two means somewhat satisfied, and three means not satisfied. So this is ordinal, because it can be ordered, even though it's a quality, but there is an order that can be made to it. I hope that by the end of this question, now it's finished, that you understand the difference between uh, the different types of uh, measurement scales. And always remember, if you have qualitative, if you spot that something is qualitative, then it's either nominal or ordinal. And how do you differentiate? it's easier to spot the ordinal. If, if there is a natural order you can make with these qualitative data, then it's ordinal. If order is not important, then it's nominal. And for the quantitative, uh, we have either interval or ratio. Okay, and how do you differentiate? Here you have examples already. For interval, you have temperatures and dates, but the thing that makes it interval is that no natural zero occurs. So even for dates, for example, your birthday, whatever, the year uh, 2000 or something, um, what is the zero for this? It's the zero on some calendar, but in other calendars, zero is different. So because no natural zero comes with dates, we know that they are interval data. Uh, on the other hand, ratio is uh, our quantitative data that has a natural zero. Uh, so length has a natural zero. You can say this is zero length, this is zero height, and everyone would agree with you what it means. This is zero weight, so weightless, and zero age, so someone that is not born yet, for example. So uh, by the end of this, hopefully now you can answer any question that asks you about the measurement scale for qualitative and quantitative data. And this ends this question.